On July 17, 2020, two leaders in the civil rights movement passed away, Reverend C.T. Vivian and Representative John Lewis. Both men lived over 50 years after having near-death experiences. Both recalled being asked the same question by a close friend walking with them. Can you swim? We're ready to uh, do our wade-in. That's what we call it, a wade-in, right? And they were out in the water waiting for us. This guy jumped on my back. And down I went, right? And my face was in the sand. I said, this is it. I'd gotten through all the other things without, uh, without, without getting killed, but this is it. Just moments after I said that, right, to myself, is that, boom, off this guy, I come straight to the top. A policeman had waded in, and then suddenly the water was filled with them. So the policeman is going to arrest me. And uh, uh, I said, arrest me. But then the cop turned out to be, you know, a nice guy. Well, I remember so well the afternoon of March 7, 1965. I was welcomed to Jose William uh, from Dr. King's organization. We get to the edge of the bridge. Jose Williams said, John, can you swim? I said, no. And I said, well, there's too much water there. We're not going to jump. We're going ahead. And we continued to walk. We came to the highest point on this bridge. Down below, we saw a sea of blue, Alabama State Troopers. Let's talk about the, uh, the beating. You nearly lost your life on this bridge. Why do you think God spared your life? Why do you think you were left behind and we lost so many, so many civil rights leaders? I, I, I feel blessed that I didn't die on this spirit. I, I thought I was going to die. I thought I saw death. Uh, I said to myself, I'm going to die on this spirit. But do you still think, you know, why me? Why did oh, I, I get a chance to live so long and, you know, make it to Congress in Washington in D.C. and just make it to this whole level? Yeah, I uh, said to myself, and I th often think about it, I think about the individuals that I work with and march with. I often think about Dr. King and Robert Kennedy and others that are going on and said that I have an obligation to continue to do what I can to help because I'm here to continue to tell the story.